Day four is about standard deviation using technology. Look at the bell curve graphs below. Like a box plot, they are a visual representation of a data set. The two bell curves represent two sets of data that have the same mean, which is this vertical line right here. So here's the mean for both. And it says, what do you notice? So to discuss this in class, I kind of assign these data sets names. Let's call the taller one A, and let's call the flatter one set B. And I would ask you this, which graph has data that is more spread out? And which has the data that is least spread out? So in class, I would call on a few people to justify their answers. What did you choose? Why did you choose it? Um, but since this is our video, let's just talk about what you should have gotten. So the data that is more spread out would actually be set B. And the data that is least spread out or more bunched around the average, so a lot of the data points are closer to the average, that would be data set A. One way to describe how spread out the data is, is something called the standard deviation. It tells you whether all the data items bunch close around the mean or if they're all over the place. The lowercase letter, Greek um, letter sigma, so sigma is this right here, stands for standard deviation. So when you see that, that's what they're talking about, the standard deviation. Which graph will have the smaller standard deviation? So if it's a smaller standard deviation, what that means is that more data points are closer to the average. So standard deviation is, another definition, is the average distance from the average. So it's a distance. This, this number that we get for standard deviation is a distance. And the smaller the number, the smaller the distance from the average. All right, so the smaller standard deviation would be set A. Set A has the smaller standard deviation because the average distance of the points from the average is smaller. So they have points are closer to the average, the mean. So that number, whatever number we get, we would get for that, those data points are closer to the mean, so you have a smaller number. So the smaller standard deviation has the smaller um, distance from the average. So here, and so B would have a larger standard deviation. So A, least spread out, is smaller standard deviation. And if it's more spread out, it has a larger standard deviation because the distance is further away from the average. So again, um, we'll talk about what we did yesterday. Rinky, Dinky, and Minky looked at these four sets of data that have the same average, 20. But we talked about different ways that we could arrange them um, from least spread out to most spread out. So write down the way you arrange the four sets of data. So you had some order, A, B, C, D, D, A, B, C, C, A, D, B, whatever your order was from yesterday, write it down. There's no right or wrong answer for number one. Um, step two, recall that all of these sets had the same average, 20. Let's calculate the standard deviation of each. So we're going to actually come up with a standard deviation, and that will tell us all right, which one was actually more spread out from the average and which one was less spread out from the average. So to do that, and usually when we've been in the classroom, we use a graphing calculator. But if you have Desmos, you can use Desmos as well. So that's what I'm going to show. Use Desmos. So if you have the app, go to that. Otherwise, go to desmos.com, pull up the graphing calculator. And like we've been doing, we are going to enter data in a table. So I'm going to hit the plus, do our table, and I'm going to put in the sets. So set A, and you can rename these. So I'm going to rename them A, B, C, and D. Okay, so now we have our sets, and I'm just going to type in set A. Okay, so there's set A, set B, 10, 10, 20, 20, 30, 30. Set C, 12, 13, 13, 27, 27, 28. And set D, 9, 20, 20, 20, 20, 31. Okay, so here are all our sets that Rinky, Dinky, and Minky looked at. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find the standard deviation, and that will tell us which data set has data points where the average distance from the average is the smallest 
and the average distance from the average is the biggest, which would be more spread out. Okay, so to do that, um, again, there's a few ways to do it. One way is to go to your keypad and do functions. We're in stats, and we're going to look for standard deviation. So standard deviations right here, STDEV. All right, and let's do it for set A. Oh, I guess it doesn't like when I name them. Oh, I named it capital A, that's why. Okay, so I didn't recognize it. All right, so there's the standard deviation of um, set A. Let's do the same thing. I'll just type in an STEDEV of set B. Let's do the standard deviation of set C and the standard deviation of set D. Oh, capital D. Capital. All right, so here are our numbers, and we're going to write them down and talk about what these numbers actually stand for. Okay, so let me, I'm going to write them down and then I'll drop this down so you can see it. Okay. So set A was 0 0.8944. I'm going to go like four decimal places out. 9443080498 and 6.9570. Okay, so I've written down these numbers on our packet or in our packet here. Okay, so here the standard deviation or the average distance from the average of each of the data, the data sets. So now it says use your answers from question two to arrange the four sets of data from the smallest standard deviation, so least spread out, to the largest standard deviation or the most spread out. Okay, so the smallest number is set A. So let's put A first. That means these numbers the average distance from the average is about 0.89 for each of those numbers. All right, the next smallest would be set D right here. So D. The average distance of these numbers from the average, the average distance from the average is 6.9. The next smallest would be set C. C and B are pretty close, but C comes next. The average distance from the average of each of these numbers is about 8. And then for set B, the average distance from the average is about 9. So let's put B last. So think back to the order that you came up with yesterday without, without knowing anything about standard deviation. And if you guessed the order A, D, C, B, then you did it correctly. Um, according to this definition of standard deviation, how spread out the data is or the average distance of each point to the average. So another example we can do of average distance from the average, let's say that each of our data points was 20. So I'm just going to make this data set of like some 20s here. If I asked you the standard deviation, would you be able to tell me what is the average distance of each of these numbers from the average? And if you came up with a zero, you would be right because the average of all of these 20s is 20. And so the distance of each of these numbers from 20 is zero. They're all zero away from 20. So the smallest standard deviation that you could have is zero. And that means that all the numbers are the same. Okay, let's do one more example. Um, and then we're going to do some review with that, um, with this new data set. Okay, so last example here. Student council collected the data of the weights of the backpacks of 30 students. Find the five number summary of the data. All right, so this would be an example. If you, you probably wouldn't want to do it by hand. You'd want to use technology, so I'm going to use Desmos. I'm just going to open a new page. I wonder if I can just delete this. I don't know. I'm just going to open a new page. Okay, okay so for Desmos. Okay, so I'm going to enter all this data into a list, so plus, add a table, and I'm just going to look at my sheet here and type them in, 10, 20, 9, 17, and again, if you're just typing them in a list, you do not need to put them in order, 15, first two 15, six, seven, 10, 9, 10, 9, 7, 4, 6, 7, 9, 13, 10, 8, 7, 4, 4, 8, 33, 10, 7, oops, 10, 9, I did that wrong, 9, 7, and 16. All right, so this should be um, 30 backpacks. Let me double check. 1, 2, Okay, 30. So I was just double checking to make sure I had 30 in there. All right, so now let's figure out the five number summary. So first we want the minimum. 
and we have list x1 here. That's three. Let's do quartile of x1, the first quartile. Remember, there's how we program that in. Let's do the median x1. Let's do quartile, um, the third quartile. And let's do maximum, oh, max, is it max? Yeah, x1. Okay, so here's how we can find the five number summary. And I'm going to write that down and then show you 3, 7, 9, 10, 33. Okay, so I'm going to lower this. And then it says make a box plot. So the next page says make a box plot of the data. Okay, so our smallest number is 3, our largest number is 33. We have to make sure we um, make have at least the min and the max on our graph. So let's start at 0, 10, 20, 30. Oh, that'll fit. Good. So let's go by fives, but I'm just going to mark each one, every other one. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, that'll work. All right, so let's make our five number summary. So min is 3. I'll put a dot there. The Q's, we put lines. So at 7, put a line. At 9, put a line. So 7, 9, 10, put a line. And at 33, put the other dot. 33 is about right here. Okay. So there is our box and whiskers plot. You can see that 33 is probably an outlier because most of the data is like right here. And then this 33 kind of pulls it over. All right. It says, how spread out is the data? Can you find the standard deviation, the average distance from the average? Well, now that we have it typed in, we can figure out what is the average distance of each of these numbers from the average? Or actually, what is the average? Do we know that? Let me pull Let's find the average. Okay, so to do that, um, again, I'm going to calculate. Whoops, I put a graph. Okay. Functions, stats, average is mean. So there's the mean. Okay, so the actual average of all these. So the average backpack weight is about 10.2 pounds of this data set, which is pretty heavy. All right, but now let's find the average distance of each of these points from the average. So I'm going to go to functions, the standard deviation, or type it in. Okay, so this number represents that the average distance of each of these data points from 10.2 is about 5.88. So that's the average distance from the average. All right, so I might write it like this. The standard deviation of list one, you might see a subscript, it tells you like of what list, is 5.88. That's the average distance from the average. So that's the new part. And remember, so to review, the smaller the standard deviation, and where did I write that? Yep, the smaller the standard deviation, the less spread out. The larger the standard deviation, the more spread out. So think about what that means. The smaller standard deviation, the closer it is together, because the average distance from the average is smaller. And the larger the number, the more spread out the data. So that's like our main idea today, and you should be able to use technology to come up with how to do it. So your assignment is daily practice day four. I believe it's two pages, 18 and 19. Standard deviation. 